Well, we all know that Gemini, the AI language model for Google Bard, is far superior than ChatGPT3. We also know that Gemini could go ahead and process information including text, code, audio, image, and video. But as of right now, we only have the Gemini Pro model which outscores ChatGPT 3.5. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you the ins of outs of Google Bard. Hey guys, welcome to Tag3 Tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Gemini. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. So right now, of course, we are inside our browser and in order to access Google Gemini, it is inside Google Bard, which is the chatbot for Google. So just go ahead and search Google Bard in your Google search bar right here. And you will go ahead and see this link. Bard chat based AI tool from Google. It is bard.google.com. So let's just go ahead and click on it and it's going to ask for you to sign in just go ahead and use your google account because using your google account is very important when using google board because you can go ahead and use a lot of features like their extension for youtube for their workspaces for their google hotels google flights essentially anything around the google ecosystem so right now we are inside google board and as you can see we have presets right here that we could go ahead and use we have our understand preset, we have our create, and we also have our explorer. But before we go into any of this, let's go ahead and talk about the settings that we have right here. So right here, we have our board activity. Of course, if you go ahead and click on it, it will just show our Google board history activity right here. And for the second one, we have our extension, which is very useful if you are using Google board. Right here, we could go ahead and enable Google flights, Google hotels, Google maps, Google Workspaces and YouTube. So basically Google owns all of these things right here for YouTube, Google Workspace, Google Flights, Hotels and Maps. We could go ahead and integrate all of these apps when we are using Gemini. So this is essentially very useful especially if you are working around your Google Workspace. You can go ahead and ask Gemini how many emails did I got today, what is the important emails that I have or what is the deadlines that I have for today. You could go ahead and ask Gemini about your emails, about your Google Drive and more and also you could go ahead and do the same for YouTube but we're gonna go ahead and delve into that later but for right Right now let's go ahead and click on the help right here you can go ahead and click on the privacy help hub you can go ahead and check out the updates for google you could go ahead and click on the help community right here and we have our frequently asked questions and for the second one we have our settings the first settings that we have is the dark theme and the light theme of course if you go ahead and click on it it will just go ahead and change theme and we have our respond once complete right here you could just go ahead and enable that if you want to and you have your public link and lastly we have our google apps right here of course we are using google board right now so we're not gonna go ahead and bother with any of that and of course we have our google account so if you want to go ahead and create new chat by using gemini just go ahead and click on the new chat right here under the board experimental and it will go ahead and proceed into the new chat page so once we're here you could go ahead and click on any of these presets that we have here these are very useful if you are new using ai chatbots this will become very handy because this will go ahead and help you so of course we have to go ahead and check out what ai model that we are using right now because as of right now we are using gemini pro and in order to confirm that just go ahead and type what AI language are we using right now? So we can go ahead and confirm it right here. I'm powered by a large language model called Gemini Pro developed by Google AI. This model is trained on massive data sets of text and code allowing me to process information and generate responses in a way that resembles human conversation. Well, right off the bat, we have a few buttons right here that we need to talk about. And of course, for the first one right here, we have the drafts. As you may know, Google Bard creates three different answers for our prompt. So if we actually go ahead and click on the drafts right here, we have three different answers for the same prompt. If we go ahead and click on this one, we get another answer and we also get the same thing for the third one right here. If you want to go ahead and recreate these drafts, just go ahead and click on regenerate drafts right here. And if you want to go ahead and listen to the answers, just go ahead and click on listen right here. 
So just below the answer, you could go ahead and send a feedback to Google by clicking on the good respond right here. We could also go ahead and do the same thing for the bad response. But this is where it gets tricky because this button right here is very handy. So if you go ahead and click on the modify response right here, you could go ahead and make the answer shorter, longer, simpler, more casual, or more professional. This will be very useful. For example, you are trying to create a professional email or an essay. You could go ahead and make it shorter, longer, simpler, casual, or more professional with a click of a button. That is just not possible with other AI chatbots like Chatsonic, ChatGPT, and more. They require you to put additional prompt in order to modify the answer. For the next one, we have our share and export. You could go ahead and share the answer to someone by clicking on the share button right here. You could go ahead and export it into your docs and you can go ahead and draft it into your Gmail. And if you actually go ahead and click on the Google icon right here, double check response, it will go ahead and use Google and you can go ahead and click on the additional questions right here so you may understand the response more. And lastly, we have our more options right here which you can go ahead and click copy and it will go ahead and copy the entire answer or response and if you want to go ahead and report something just go ahead and click on the report legal status so with all of that out of the way we can now go ahead and turn our focus into the extensions i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the youtube extension first so since youtube is owned by google and bard is also owned by google they are connected therefore they can communicate with each other so if i go ahead and type something like Right now, I have this simple prompt, recommend me 3 videos about mental health podcast and it actually goes ahead and recommended me some videos on YouTube. So to make it easier for you, I'm gonna go ahead and give this AI another example. So I changed the prompt into recommend me 3 videos for cooking spaghetti sauce. And this is not it, we can actually go ahead and type additional prompts right here. For example, I wanna go ahead and summarize the first video right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type out this prompt. So let's just go ahead and say I don't have time to watch all of this video. I could go ahead and type this prompt out right here. Recap the first video and give me the recipe. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on submit and it will actually go ahead and recap the video and give me the exact same recipe used in that video. So right here we have our ingredients, we also have our instructions and additionally we have our tips. This is extremely useful, especially if you don't have time to watch maybe an hour long video. Maybe if you're studying something or let's just say you're watching something about your class that is one hour long. What you can do is you could just go ahead and say recap this video and tell me what is important in that video. And Bart will happily summarize that video for you. And lastly, for the worksheet extension. Once again, since we are using our Google account right here, our workspaces are actually connected within Google Board. For example, we have our mail, we have our drive, we have multiple worksheets. What we can actually go ahead and do is type something like, how many emails did I get today? So since we are using our Google account here, most of our workspace are connected within Google Board. So it can actually go ahead and read stuff from our email. It can actually go ahead and access our drive. For example, if we want to go ahead and find something on our drive or for example, we want to go ahead and know what file is uploaded on a specific date. Google Bard is actually your own personal assistant when it comes to your workspace. So I only demonstrated my email here. You can also go ahead and use this for docs, worksheets, and mostly for every Google worksheets available out there. So guys, thank you for watching and if this video has been helpful for you, please consider by liking and subscribing. I'll make sure to see you again next time. Thank you.